Hello everyone, I am Dr. Mahesh Nantanarayanan and I am here to talk about a recently accepted article in the BMJ Heart Journal. This article is a systematic review and meta-analysis performed to compare outcomes of early surgical in intervention to conventional therapy which included both medical therapy and late surgery. Physicians universally agree that infective endocarditis is associated with a very high morbidity and mortality approaching even 50%. There has been no consensus established on the optimum timing of surgical intervention, mainly because of the lack of randomized controlled trials. We therefore tried to analyze the available evidence and did a comprehensive review to include articles from January 1960 to April 2015, and we found 21 articles with a total of 11,048 patients. We included the primary outcome, which was all-cause mortality, and the secondary outcomes were 30-day mortality or in-hospital mortality, heart failure, embolic events, and recurrence of endocarditis at follow-up. We defined early surgery as surgical intervention at 20 days or less. We did this because most studies that were included reported early surgical outcomes within three weeks of diagnosis of infective endocarditis. Conventional therapy, on the other hand, was defined as surgical intervention at greater than 20 days or just medical therapy without any surgical intervention. We found that all-cause mortality was much lower in the early surgical group, both in the unmatched and in the propensity matched groups where people were matched for their baseline variables. We then divided studies according to the timing of surgical intervention as surgery at 7 days or less and surgery between 7 to 20 days and found that people who got operated at less than 7 days had a very high mortality benefit than people who got operated between 8 to 20 days. There was no difference in outcomes including in-hospital mortality, embolization, heart failure, and recurrence of endocarditis at follow-up. We believe that the mortality benefit in early surgery is secondary to attenuation of two main events, heart failure and embolic events. It has been shown that embolic events tend to increase during the first week of diagnosis of infective endocarditis and so we believe the much lower odds ratio we found in people who got operated at less than seven days could be secondary to attenuation of embolic events. There were very few studies to compare uh, the rates of embolic events at follow-up, heart failure and recurrence of endocarditis and so it is very difficult to draw any conclusive evidence from these analysis. In-hospital mortality was not different between early surgical intervention and conventional therapy and so it could be seen that early surgery improves long-term outcomes without increasing short-term mortality. In a recent article, it was shown that 24% of patient population who qualified for getting surgery did not receive surgery. This shows that in spite of the available evidence showing mortality benefit in infective endocarditis, in current clinical practice, we tend to delay surgery for fear of complications. The ACC AHA guideline and the European Society of Cardiology guideline, they both recommend a team approach including cardiothoracic surgeons, cardiologists and infectious disease physicians to be involved as a heart team while making decisions. At the same time, it is very important to keep in mind the available evidence showing mortality benefit with early surgery in infective endocarditis while making these complex decisions. In conclusion, our analysis shows early surgery at 20 days or less is associated with mortality benefit on a long term and surgical intervention at 7 days or less has even better outcomes. Thank you for your time.